Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making a black heart and rainbow shirt. This is also a youth size shirt. My shirt was soaked in soda ash, wrung out in my panda spin dryer, and so it's just barely damp. I also have my shirt turned inside out. I'm going to add the heart to both the front of the shirt and to the back of the shirt. So I need to isolate and put the middle of the front of my shirt together with the middle of the back of my shirt. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my shirt in half, make a mark down at the bottom and at the top of the front of my shirt, and on the inside at the back of my shirt. That's marking the middle of my shirt. Then to isolate the front of my shirt, I'm going to grab the two marks on the front, gently lift my shirt up off the table and shake it. I'm also going to grab those two marks on the back. And as I'm doing this, I'm tucking one sleeve inside of the other. That will help make my design lay nice and flat. Then I'm going to put that seam from the back right up next to the seam from the front. So right now, you see the middle of the back of my shirt is laying on top of the middle of the front of my shirt. Then I'm going to make sure I smooth out any wrinkles and get my shirt nice and flat. Now it's time to draw the heart on the shirt. I have a stencil that I've cut out of a piece of plastic cutting board and I'm just going to use a washable marker and trace around that stencil. Then I'm going to fan fold this line beginning at the top of the heart. You want to make sure you keep your front and your back of your shirt sandwiched right up next to each other so that they don't move. I like to begin fan folding a heart from the top rather than from the bottom. I think it's easier to make that turn in the heart when you begin there. Once I have my heart fan folded, I'm going to tie it up with some sinew. I use sinew for designs like this because sinew has a waxed layer and when you take and wrap the sinew around your fan folded line and you pull it nice and tight until it locks in place, that will form a waterproof barrier where your dye and your dye liquid won't get underneath that sinew so that area of your shirt will have a white line around it. I also want to put one additional sinew line not very far away from this one just kind of as a little bit of extra definition for my heart. I'm fan folding the rest of my shirt and I'm going to tie it up with some kite string. I'm using kite string for this area because I don't want white lines in it. I want the dye to be able to go all the way throughout the shirt, but the kite string will help to hold all of my fan folds in place nice and tightly.
Okay, it's almost time to start applying the dye. Before I do though, I want to use a washable marker and draw some lines on my shirt so that I know where I want to put my dye. I'm using six colors for this shirt, so I'm going to make six different sections. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to dye this one a rainbow. So the colors that I'm going to use are light red, followed by soft orange, and lemon yellow. Those colors are all Dharma Trading Company colors. Then I'm using Lime Twist from Custom Colors and Turquoise and Blue Violet from Dharma Trading Company. When I'm applying the light red, I'm taking that into that one little area too between the heart, that extra definition area that I tied with the sinew, I'm dyeing that one light red as well. I'm only going to apply these colors to the front of the shirt. I want to saturate the front side of my shirt fairly well. I don't mind if a little bit of the colors just start to show through on the back side. Then I'm going to dye my heart area black and for this I'm using Black Bang from Custom Colors. Now I'm ready to turn my shirt over and I'm going to add the light red and that one little definition line next to my heart. I'm going to put that on the back side as well. Then I'm going to dye the heart area black again. And I'm going to put a light coat of black all over the rest of the back of the shirt. I don't want to oversaturate this with the black though because I don't want the black to go all the way through the front of the shirt and overtake my rainbow colors that I put on the front. Then I'm going to turn my shirt back over and let it process with the rainbow side up. I waited 24 hours before I washed it and this is what our shirt ended up looking like. If you're enjoying watching these videos, I sure would appreciate it if you would hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.